So we have a little issue when it comes to deleting comments. Any user at this point can delete any other user's comments, and that's not what you want to see. Instead, what you want to be able to do is prevent any user from deleting it. And I've also noticed that this get object or 404 is creating a little bit of an issue. It's not necessarily working every single time. So I'm just going to change it slightly um, to a way that I'm positive will work every single time. So I'm going to import from django.http. We're going to import HTTP 404. Um, so now what we're going to do down here, and we're going to also do it in the comment thread, is we'll say tr we're going to put a try block in here and say object or obj equals to comment dot objects dot get id equals to id and then we'll say accept we'll just say raise http 404 um, this is going to say any other sort of exceptions now if you want to try these things out or see exceptions in action you can actually just take the try block out of the exception itself of course we're going to comment out that other one and then you can try out different various things so let's actually put this in the bottom or the comment thread as well because there's another thing that we will actually want to do with the comment thread too. Um, so let's just change it to like some comment that doesn't exist. It'll say comment matching query does not exist, right? So it gives us this error. So if I just comment out that first git call and keep that try block there, I refresh, it'll say page not found, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but something I did notice on that git object or 404, if it was a child object, it was still not rendering, which technically how this code was set up, it should. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, I think it might have something to do with the parent or a foreign key related to itself, but I'm not really sure there. If somebody, if, you, if one of you guys knows that answer, please let us know because I am very interested. Um, but without wasting too much time, what we do wanna do is actually in the comment thread itself, first of all, we wanna say object, um, we wanna check if the object is the parent, right? So if we come down here and we say is parent, then we're good. We don't have to do anything. If it's not the parent, then we will get the parent. So if not object dot parent, or I think it's dot is parent. We'll check that in a second here. So yes, it's is parent as a property. So if the object is not the parent, then we'll say the object is object dot parent. Um, so object dot parent being the original object and then we're resetting that variable. Uh, so this will always move any of our comments to that thread. It's gonna go specifically there. Um, and that's good for the comment thread itself, for viewing the comments. Now, editing or deleting the comments on the other hand, what we wanna see is if the request method in, is post, but more specifically, um, we wanna actually show this comment only if the parent or the user, the requested user, is the owner of it. So I'm gonna take out that try that, that first object uh, that br brings the error out. And what I wanna do here now is gonna say if object.user equals to request.user, then we will, well, we'll pass. Or instead, I'll do the inverse of that. I'll say if it's not equal to the requested user, then we'll raise the HTTP 404. All right, so all that's doing here is checking to make sure that this user has permission and we could even write a message in here saying that the user does not have permission. Um, you do not have permission to view this. Now, of course, with permission errors, like permission type of stuff, 404 errors are not the actual error that you would raise. You would raise a different sort of HTTP error. You would realistically raise an HTTP 403 error, but for convenience, we're just leaving it at raise HTTP 404. Real quickly, I will show you how to actually raise a response with a HTTP 403 error. First of all, we're gonna wanna import HTTP response, and we are gonna come down here. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff, and I'll say response equals to HD response, and then response dot status code equals to 403 and then we're gonna return that response. So that's basically saying if it's not the requested user, it's gonna return this empty thing. So you do not have permission to view this. There we go, or to do this. And now we come back in here and I'm going to go ahead and try and delete one that I do not have, well, right now I do have permission to do that because I'm logged in. 
But now if I go to one that I do not have permission, it gives me this as a response. So that's this HTTP response, th this class right here. Um, a lot of these other classes actually inherit from it. So HTTP response redirect, HTTP 404, they use this HTTP response, but we can do it right here. And believe it or not, you can also do it on render as well. Um, and I'm just gonna add in here and you would just add a status code equals to 403. 403 is a standard status code for permissions. You don't have permission. Um, so that's it. That's all we're gonna be doing on our comment delete stuff. Um, all we really have to do now is kind of add this in to our comment thread. Um, so that's the last thing that we'll do here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna put it inside of where the comments are themselves. So we have via and if it's you, then we are going to show that. So in there, I'll say if request dot user dot um, equals to comment dot user, then we'll say delete. And and if, and we'll do the same thing for the child user, and we'll put it right after that a go, and um, it's going to be child comment instead of child user. And of course we wanna actually take a look at the um, URL for it. And if we go into our models, we can actually change or add a new model in here for git delete URL. And that's gonna be a convenience method that you don't have to do, but it's gonna make it easier for us. So we'll say git delete URL, and then we'll look back into our URLs and we're gonna add a name in here saying delete. And then back into our model, we're gonna change this to being delete and the keyword argument is the same. So back into our thread, we can now just use a href equals two and close off the a child comment dot get delete URL. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that same thing, put it into the top one, and then this will be just comment dot delete URL. And we'll hit cancel here. And now I can see that these are there. If I look at this exact same thing on a non-authenticated user, I see that the delete button is gone. Um, so now we can actually delete these and it takes us back to the original content object. Um, so that's, that's where we're at. It doesn't necessarily take you back to the parent object, which you could do. You could do some more logic in here to say, oh, if it's a child, then let's just take it back to the parent thread which is definitely something you can consider. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.